what's up YouTube? We're a couple of cunts, we're in the countryside. We're talking about 3D. I used to think 3D was a bit of a gimmick really, sort of a cheap money making scheme. These days I still think it's kind of a gimmick, but if it does done well it can enhance the film, it can add an extra layer to it. Literally. Yeah. The first 3D film I saw at the cinema was Avatar. And you know those adverts for 3D films where there's like a bunch it's of... It's in your face! Where Somewhere there's like yeah. a bunch of dickheads sitting in the cinema and like someone will thrust a spear out the screen and they'll all go like... <gasps> like that. Yeah. I was one of those dickheads. Like not to that extreme, but there's scenes where like ash is falling down and I was actually like, whoa. And uh, there's a scene where a bunch of people were throwing their hands in the air and I was actually doing this. I was sort of trying to look around and going, I can't see. And I was like, oh wait, it's on the screen. The technology is really impressive. It's... It's the ones where they've made a film and they want to make a bit of extra cash, so <laughs> yeah. they just slap some shitty 3D on it and charge an extra four quid a ticket. That's what I'm kind of against. You can always tell a film that was filmed in 3D to a film that's been hastily converted in post. Like, the ones that are filmed in 3D have depth and texture and it actually fits in with the film. The ones that are hastily converted, it's blurry and shitty and you can't even tell half of it's in 3D. And you know some films these days have really put a lot of effort and I think the last thing we saw, we didn't actually see it in 3D, but the last thing we saw, we knew they specifically did it for was Captain America. You, yeah. you could just tell, even when it was in the ordinary filming of that, you can tell they really emphasised it for certain points with the 3D, like especially when he goes out into uh, New York at the end of it and it's sort of like the camera pans round him. You just know for a fact they just massively overdid it on that point. It's more the scenes where he was throwing his shield directly mm. at the camera that I that, thought it That was. happened as well, but there, there was that just obligatory bit at the end, but certainly the action, uh, the action sequences as well, where I just sort of like, ah, 3D! The Avengers was going to be filmed in 3D. Joss Whedon filmed one day with the 3D cameras and said, this is nope. so fucking limiting, I just cannot be arsed. Really? Oh, fair enough. And so I certainly won't be going to see that in 3D because it's a shitty post-conversion job. What, what may be one of the greatest films ever made and they're doing that, it pisses me off. Fucking Hollywood. <laughs> one of the last Nightmare on Elm Street films they did had some of the most like gratuitous 3D ever. There was a point in the film where all the characters went into a dream and to protect themselves they had to put on these 3D glasses. Literally they have cardboard glasses with one red and one green lens that you'd get out like the fucking Beano or something. And it was such a cue for like, right audience, put on your 3D glasses. And then they were like, they, they literally picked up things and just went, wow. And there were like demons flying at the camera and shit. And it was just ridiculously crap. Not entirely 3D related, but just uh, things that made me think of uh, films shoehorning something in for the sake of fans or money or novelty. Two things spring to mind. Um, the Doom film was terrible. The, the whole first person Yeah, the section. first person bit where it's just sort of like, hey, that Doom. really was yeah, gratuitous. So like, hey, Doom was first person, let's just put that in there. And in the Hitman film, when he's walking through the corridor at one point, and they have it, the camera exactly how it would look down on you as if you were playing the game. I mean, yeah, okay, it was kind of cool. It wasn't, you would have only noticed it if you already sat there paying attention. It wasn't completely just like, hey, look at this shitty segue. Um, but even still, it was just one of those things where you think, yeah, you can... That sounds that. a little more subtle. The Doom thing was really mm. quite crowbarred have, in. Have you not seen Hitman? Probably? I haven't seen Hitman. It's, no. it's not a terrible film, um, but uh, yeah, but just at one point you've obviously played the games. You know when the yeah, camera follows you for it. But they basically have a section exactly like that for about thirty or so seconds when he's working, you know, going through a corridor. So uh, rather than like the usual stuff you'd see in a film, all the cinematic angles, which was kind of a nice touch. But uh, yeah, certainly with with three D sometimes there is uh, you can definitely tell. Them. To make a bit more money, let's just uh, clean this up a bit. It's become a real sort of big thing recently. They're releasing a lot of old films in 3D. The Lion King's coming out in 3D. They re-released uh, Toy Story. Looking at all the old, you know, stuff. It's like it's before too much longer. George Lucas is going to have like 4D. I don't quite know how he's going to manage it, but he'll fucking do it for all the old Star Wars stuff. Titanic 3D is currently uh, yeah, that's out. I keep seeing adverts for that shit. It's like it didn't need to be made fucking 2D. Well, in 3D. It had an ironically successful maiden voyage 15 years ago. They've decided to re-release it in 3D. Uh, when we went to see The Hunger Games, as we discussed last week, uh, there was an advert for Titanic 3D, and I was really disappointed they didn't show scenes of people watching it in the cinema, like the Titanic coming out the screen at them and just going, Whoa! It's, it's funny you mention that, actually. One of the first things that like really, really scared people, I remember seeing really old black and white footage. Ah, of the Lumiere brothers' train coming into yeah, the station. Yeah, exactly so. what I was going to mention. It's like, there's literally people just screaming 
screaming because they think a train's actually going to come and hit them. And you know, if, back then, if you'd never seen something on a screen before like that, you might have even assumed it was real. Well, that's, that's it. They, they've never up. seen video. Mm. So to see that, they prob- yeah, they thought it was going to come and kill them. Mm. Um, <laughs> one of my friends on Facebook said something that really made me laugh. They were basically having a conversation with a friend about going to see Titanic. They said, mm. but instead of saying, do you want to go and see Titanic 3D? They said, hey, do you want to go and see Kate Winslet's tits in 3D? <laughs> Which would sell it to me. I'd much rather go and see that than Titanic. Yeah. It's like um, there was a trailer for the new Underworld film that's mm. in 3D. There was so much gratuitous shit in that, like Kate... Uh, Beckinsale basically doing like a f- cartwheel and like the camera zooming in on her open legs and like thrusting her tits out. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm oh, all no, for no, that, no. you know. If I, I want more boobs and asses to come at me when I'm at the cinema, <laughs> you know, it's if that's the way you get your thrills. I can't actually, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to think how many 3D films I've seen in the cinema last stuff. I remember. I remember going to see Beowulf when that came out in 3D, because that was sort of like CGI 3D, and that kind of interested me. And we Was went... that proper digital 3D, not the shitty different coloured lenses 3D? Oh, see, I honestly can't remember. Because digital well, 3D think... has only just come in recently. Yeah. I mean, I think this was, I'm pretty sure we were wearing shitty, uh, shitty lenses for this. And it was kind of funny, like, we watched it. It was really quite impressive. We got out of there thinking, yeah, because we'd been drinking beforehand. It came out, but we like, yeah, we're manly Vikings. And we missed our bus. And the other, we knew for a fact we'd be able to catch it at a different point in Nottingham. Um, or we'd have to wait, like, half an hour for the next one. But it was a good, it was basically from the market square to the train station. We decided to run from there, both of us being, like, massively out of shape, just ran to there, just missed it by like five minutes anyway, we were just there waiting for the next bus, like, <gasps> oh, bollocks, which wasn't the, which wasn't the best, I think, so 3D, 3D films can be bad for your health, because they might make you think you're a Viking, and run when you can't, <laughs> or I maybe that only happens maybe, to maybe you, maybe that only happens to me. I don't know if I ever actually saw one of those films in uh, the cinemas with the different coloured lenses, but um, I got the, one of the latest Final Destination films, and it yeah. had a 3D version, but it was the sort of red and green one. Mm. It was just terrible. I, I remember you used to, especially for like the old stuff like Children in Need or Comic Relief, um, when we used to have those on TV, sort of like mid-90s, time like that. They'd um, Occasionally they'd do like 3D features for that, and occasionally you'd get given like these shitty glasses at school, or you'd get them from a newsagent or something like that, you could just pick them up free. And there would be some that would come on TV and you'd watch them with those. And you almost, almost got that 3D effect. But when you're sort of like six or seven, that's enough to excite you sort of thing. That's like, wow. Yeah, but to be fair, cold beans are enough to excite you when you're at that age. There's a comic out. I don't know if uh, any of our viewers may have heard of it. It's called Crossed. And uh, it's basically the most twisted, fucked up comic you're ever likely to read. It's kind of a zombie apocalypse, but instead of corpses that have come back to life, it's people who've got this virus that makes them live out their most depraved fantasies. So they're like constantly raping and cannibalizing and chucking babies through windows. And for some reason they've released a 3D version of that. Cross 3D, it's basically all this terrible shit, but it's in 3D and it comes with glasses. I was like, you can't read it without the glasses. Mm. It really seems like quite a pointless endeavour, to be honest. But the thing that I think weirded me out the first time I really saw it, I went to a friend's house. He had a massive, massive TV. It's like, not that I've not seen a big TV before, but it was a proper HD one. That's the other thing, isn't it, at the moment? The 3D TVs, mm. which is just... Have you seen the setup for those? Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. You've got to plug the glasses in, and it's not the way it works in the cinema where the lenses are slightly different and you're basically seeing two images at a slightly different angle you know merged into one for the thing i think what it is with a 3d tv is the image flickers in the glasses every like so many times a second so you don't even notice it's happening i'm thinking like if an epileptic bought that they'd be fucking spazzing out on the floor trying to watch goddamn eastenders you know phil mitchell's coming at you and all of a sudden you're frothing at the mouth i'm no expert but i'm thinking if it's happening so fast you can't physically tell with your own eyes it's probably not going to be as much of a problem for epileptics as just sort of like a strobe light or something because it's going to be faster than a strobe because you can tell a strobe is going on but what if it's a 3d strobe well i don't know then you're really fucked in a physics lab once, we had a strobe. For for some reason, we there was a wheel that had like a line painted on, and you had to use it to try and work out how fast it was going. Quite why we needed it, I don't know, but we basically just spent the entire lab just sneaking up on people, putting it on really high, and seeing if they were epileptic. Which is, uh, it's kind of funny. None of us were, but you just sort of like go up to everyone, and like, you all take turns every week just going up with like the strobe, just going just, ah, just having it blast in someone's face. It's like, go on, fuck off. See, this is actual 3D shit here. I'm gonna hold this here. And it's going to get... Whoa, dude. Oh, wow. 
professionalism here. L look at our technical setup. Yeah, we've got a fucking umbrella and a bottle opener. Oh. Oh, you, you, you should be opening up. it towards the camera. That's. Hey. Wow, sound as well. <laughs> oh, smooth. <laughs> at least you didn't get it on the fucking lens. <laughs> Oh, you absolute. Ne next burger. episode, we need to have like 3D, HD, surround sound, dual eye burning vision. <laughs> there we go. That's the only way we can get better than that shit. I think we're already eye burning vision, if I'm honest. <laughs> well, we've been a couple of cuts in the countryside. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and favourite, subscribe and share. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. And if you didn't enjoy it, be thankful we're not in 3D. Feel free to suggest a topic for us to talk about in a future episode. See you next time. And remember, three dimensions isn't always a good thing. Look at me. I'm in 3D. <laughs>